Welcome back, listeners. This is part two of our special one-shot, Cow Soup. Next week will be the final installment of Cow Soup, and then we'll have a musical release, and then something else for a couple weeks, and then we'll be back to regular episodes, assuming everything goes according to plan. Our cast this week again consists of Ben Carter as Chout, the confused cow fighter, Brandon Weigel as Beef, the easygoing cow barbarian, the Pink Pastor as Davin Darkblade, the emo cow rogue, Sarah Ellis Fox from the Adventure.exe podcast as Margarine, the murderous, bloodthirsty cow attack caster, and Pavel Lishin as the wildly creative DM who has to deal with the mess that he has created. Yes, the players are all playing cows. Last week they became self-aware while living on a farm somewhere in the western half of World 83, and then decided to explore the area near their farm and maybe even get to the bottom of some cow deaths that occurred after the cows ate some cow soup. After escaping into the woods and uh, eating some upset squirrels, the cows now continue on their journey. What, what, what are we doing again? Why are we here? We're having fun. That's why we're learning about the world. Oh, right. They were yeah. here to eat squirrels. No, wait. There was a, there was another thing. Uh, Vengeance. Small oh, right. human things. The little ma- the little tiny people who are poisoning the cows, and we we're going to find them, and we're going to eat them. Right. I, I, yeah. How how are we going to find them? Do we know where they are? I don't know. Keep running through the forest, I guess. It, can we investigate to see if there's any sort of like sign of tracks or like people have rubbed off some of the bark because they walk out long, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, give me give me a survival check. Who's got good survival? You probably you. Uh, all yeah, I mean all all all, all, all four of you can roll if you want. <laughs> oh, I got nineteen. Nineteen. Anybody else get above twenty? I got a four. So. I got an eight. Ooh. I got a one. <laughs> oh, okay, nineteen is the highest. Okay, so Marjorie's uh, senses being heightened by her blood frenzy uh, <laughs> sniffs out what looks like uh, looks like footprints. Uh, and, and you all know what footprints are. You see the farmers leaving them in the mud. So you see footprints in the forest, uh, but these are smaller than the farmer's footprints. And mm-hmm. they lead off through the forest uh, kind of alongside the road that runs through it, but not on the road itself. Okay, so I, t- I tell everyone, I say, oh, it looks like some little farmers came through here. Look. <laughs> Well, oh. I think we should well that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for small humans. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're one and the same. Little tiny farmers. What is Chout doing with that one over there? With the uh, survival check for the one? Yeah, I was I was curious how, how Chout is responding to that one <laughs> survival. <laughs> he's basically uh, stuck his head in a bush, and when, <laughs> when, when he brings it out, he's wearing it like a hat. <laughs> <laughs> he's like suffocating, he's inhaled a bunch. He's like, oh. <laughs> so it's like, what, what? Have we found something? I can't really see very much right now. Oh, we found a bunch of farmer prints. Come look. I'll go eat the bush off of your head. <laughs> oh, thanks, Beef. Oh, it's full of thorns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't don't eat that paper. I feel like there's a possibility I might have by accident. Uh, you know what? Yeah, give me. Uh, let's see. Like an intelligence check or something. Uh, I feel like this is like a like to see whether you notice it. So maybe a perception check. Sounds good. Okay, twenty one. <laughs> okay, you're fine. You you very carefully eat just the th- uh, the thorny bush and manage to avoid eating the scrolls. Oof. Oh, yeah, dude, that was a good call. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looked like a leaf, but it was a different color, and it had uh, squiggles on it, so I figured it shouldn't eat that part. That was very smart. Thanks, Margarine. Oh, you're welcome. All right, guys, let's follow these footprints. What do you say? Clip-clop down the footprint trail. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Okay. Should we you follow f- her? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm singing. As I go, I sing. I go, la, 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 la. You know, guys, I'm starting to think she's not from a small town farm. <laughs> a, a, a little blue jay, uh, as you're saying, a little blue jay uh, lands on uh, on one of your horns. I got it's like a ha, ha, it's like a scene ha, ha, ha. from a Disney movie. Yeah. <laughs> and then she tries to eat. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the bird flies away, terrified. 
<laughs> yeah, chat follows. Let's go. All right. All right. So you follow the footprints uh, through the forest. They run parallel to the road. Uh, eventually, there is another uh, another kind of fork in the road. It shoots off uh, further into the woods. And the footprints, once again, follow that. And as you follow them, you see that they lead to what looks a lot like uh, your home uh, because there is there is a barn and a smaller people barn next to it. Uh, but we went in circles. Uh, oh no! <laughs> but this is but but you can tell this is different. This particular barn and the farmhouse attached to it they look very dilapidated. Even as cows, you can tell that they are not maintained, and it looks like a strong sneeze could probably knock them over. Ooh. What happened to our barn? <laughs> We leave, we leave for 20 minutes and this happens. We're holding the place oh, together. We should never have left. It's all our fault. <laughs> there, uh, there's a barn. There's a farmhouse. Um, that's kind of what you can see from where you are. Well, let's go take a look. Yeah, I agree. What do you investigate first? Uh, what's closer? Uh, we can't just cl- I, yeah, I think we just clip, clip, clop. Closest thing. Uh, as you clip and clop to the closest thing, this is the main entrance. So the closest thing is going to be the house. Okay. I go, yoo-hoo, anybody home? Is there any enemy playing inside? <laughs> Moo-hoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to see how Mike works uh, anime into the canon. <laughs> yeah. I love that he learned human from anime. That's my favorite. <laughs> He's like, I'm fluent. I could go into human culture. <laughs> when he runs, he runs with his front hooves behind him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of my what, beer after. <laughs> I'm trying to think what a cow version of a weeb would be, but I can't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know common, but you only know the kind of common that talks about uh, like fighting and ninja stuff. Right, that makes sense. He yeah. also has a large collection of sharp sticks <laughs> yeah. back at the barn. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, as you as you look as you look uh, as you walk around the house, you see that the door is there, mostly off its hinges. You see that the windows are broken. As you look inside, you see that what you would recognize as the as a human's kind of food place. Uh, inside, you see some big pots, um, these big containers, and they're full of this weird boiling stuff, this weird <gasps> boiling goo. This How does it smell? Cow soup. Is it cow soup? Is it made of cows or is it for <laughs> cows? I don't know. I really don't. Give me, uh, give me a... Oh, I'll taste it. I know I can I yeah I think I could figure it out if I took a little tasty taste. Is it boiling or is it simmering? It, lo- it looks like it's weirdly bubbling. You can't actually tell if it's hot or not uh, just by looking at it. I mean, it's inside the house, right? Yeah. All right. So we have to walk into the house. Yeah. Kyle's gonna walk upstairs, but not downstairs. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> so if there are stairs in here, be wary. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm right. just going to knock over one of the pots. Is that okay? Yep. Or try to. Yeah. Go out. Yeah. Yep. You walk into the house and you, uh, you hook one of your horns uh, onto one of the pots and you knock it and it spills all over the floor. Now, do I have horns? <laughs> do female cows have horns? Uh, <laughs> once again, I did not, I researched nothing about actual cows or farms, so I don't know, but I think I mentioned that you have horns. Okay, so I think yeah. canonically, let's say that every, every one of you has horns. Okay. That sounds good to me. I just found out. Like, These are fantasy cows. Yeah, fantasy yeah, exactly. cows. Yeah, I just found out the caribou, both male and female, have uh, antlers. So you know what? It's not too crazy. Reindeer, basically. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to roll to knock it over? Uh, no, it's 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 uh, it's easy enough to knock over, and now it okay. just spilled over the floor. I'm gonna take one little lick. Okay, uh, give me a uh, give me an investigation check on that cow soup. Okay, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, with a 13, so as I said in the beginning, you all remember that you also had some cow soup. No, oh, yeah. And maybe that's why you feel like you're maybe a little special. Maybe that's why you're capable of learning to read and casting magic. Uh, mm-hmm. But you remember, this is what that cow soup tasted like. This is definitely okay. the cow soup you had. Is good to me? That's a good question. Let's, uh, I don't think that, uh, yeah, there's no like, flavor to taste. Uh, 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 up to you. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. It's like clear Gatorade. I think it makes sense canonically that we all ate it previously and then forgot about it until this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say, F- fellas, it's cow soup. It's a so- I- This is so familiar. I've definitely eaten this before. Taste it. See if you remember. All right. I'll give it a shot. So I'll walk through the door, taking most of the door frame with me <laughs> and enter the kitchen. <laughs> and this is a lick. 
Yeah, give me uh yeah, uh, give me an investigation check. Mm. See if you remember this. Clear Gatorade. Never tastes so good. Investigation with my uh 14. 14. Yeah, you remember. This is this is exactly the stuff uh it, it all kind of comes fl- comes flashing back to you. You definitely remember these little critters coming in the middle of the night and giving you a bucket of this stuff and you you ate some. Uh you got pretty sick for a while and then you woke up and you were you were different. Oh. Huh. I've had this stuff before. It's like cow puberty. Hey, yeah, come in, guys. It's it's okay. Yeah, have a taste. Just a lick. It'll be fine. Well, if everyone else is doing come it. Come on. Yeah, Chout does the same. Comes on and has a quick lick. At, at this point, uh, the memory yeah, comes back to you. Definitely. Yep, you remember this. So is is the soup hot or not? Uh, no, it's no, it's not hot. It's somehow magically, magically bubbling and boiling. In so fact, you, you, can, yeah. it's still kind of weirdly bubbling even when it's on the floor. So if I take a put my lips to the inside of a, another pot, then take a big drink of the liquid, it doesn't hurt. Uh, no, it seems like you developed some sort of immunity to whatever effect this previously yeah. had on you. Mm. Good job, everybody! We did it. Mm. Pretty good, I gotta say that. I'll suck it out of the carpet. <laughs> oh God! There's a carpet <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> That's Goblins, horrible. That too. <laughs> disgusting <laughs> did somebody lose this do you think do we have to give it back to them or should we just take it or what, should what should we it. do we can't let it go oh, to waste we we don't have hands yeah I'll keep it inside of us you know drink oh. drink drink well shouldn't we try and find these little farmer men and avenge the, whoever gals they killed before but wait 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 we we drank this stuff right and mm-hmm. we didn't die so how do we know it was the soup that killed them? Oh, I don't know. I guess correlation does not equal causation. Am I right, fellas? That uh, that I, made no sense to me. That's very smart <laughs> sounding. <laughs> so I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I say we drink the soup. We find the little farmers. We ask them what's up. And if, then if we kind of get bad vibes from them, we'll just eat them. I, what do you say? I, makes me a little uncomfortable that that's your go-to. That's because we got the, nothing to lose. We're on an adventure. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe I can communicate. I mean, we're we're outside of the paddock now, yeah. you know? You ain't in Kansas anymore, it's, Dorothy. It's a different world out here. <laughs> it, yeah, it's cow eat farmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, Davin Darkblade is going to kind of patrol around the barn and then the smaller barn. To see if he can find uh, traces of of anybody. You do. In fact, as you uh, let's see, are you are you trying to be sneaky and stealthy and not and avoid being seen, or are you just kind of wandering around? Oh yeah, he's definitely he's being sneaky. He's kind of pulling like the crunk from Emperor's New Groove. Like he's kind of like <laughs> up against the wall, kind of humming his own like sneaky theme song. <laughs> All right, give me uh, give me a stealth check. Right. Oof, that is not great. Uh, that is a nine. A nine. Oh, yeah. Nope. You are spotted. Uh, and <gasps> you, hear, you hear someone say from inside the large bar, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Well, <laughs> I, I can understand it. <laughs> oh, that's right. You, oh. <laughs> that's just what he's saying. Who knows it? <laughs> are they speaking, <laughs> so are they speaking <laughs> common? <laughs> or are they uh, speaking a different language? That's a good question. Oh, that's a good, that's a, that is a good question. Let me see. Yeah, like- Maybe. Maybe I didn't mess up. Maybe this was part of my brilliant DMing all along. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's. Yeah, no, he was. Uh, uh, he, the language being spoken is not something you recognize as common. Gotcha. Oh, I thought you were going to do goblins in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, th- I, I, I thought about I should have. Uh, uh, oh, God. Can I switch from take, Russian take to one. English fast? <laughs> all right, let me try it. Who's там? Who там идет? Я кого-то слышу. Пойди посмотри, кто там. Это что? Yeah, that definitely <laughs> sounds <Yay>! like goblin. <laughs> I love it. That's very cool. Okay, so yeah, um, something definitely, something has definitely spotted you, and uh, you don't know what they said, but y- you can tell that there's suddenly commotion inside the big barn. Ooh, let's all kind of stand side by side, like a really united front, you know? We're like, no matter what happens, we'll do this together. All counts for one. Put your hoof in the middle. <laughs> oh. And I count to three, and we all say, all counts for one. Come on, everybody. One. Does everybody put their hoof in the middle? Yeah, Beef puts his hoof in. Absolutely, huh? of course. Okay. No, uh, Davin Darkblade just he he <gasps> he tries to 
he he resists for a little bit just to seem cool, and then he 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 <laughs> slides his hoof in. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, on three, all cows for one. One, two, three. All, all cows, cows for one. one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and as as you do this, you see something walk out of the barn. It looks like a farmer, as far as you know. It's got two legs, it's bouncing on, it's got two arms. But it definitely looks weirdly taller than the farmers you're used to, and it's got very long arms. Ooh. And it stops and it stares at you. I thought they were supposed to be shorter. This must yeah. not be the cow killer, guys. No, this is something else. Maybe this is like a regular farmer. Maybe he'll feed us. Yeah, I say hello. The person you think of as a tall farmer, um, he he says to you, "Karovy, karovy, смотри, что они делают. Они волшебные коровы. Наконец-то суп сработал, суп сработал." And as he's shouting this at you, uh, suddenly you hear somebody else shout something behind them. Они тебя не понимают. Тебе надо это волшебство делать. Давай, дурак, давай. And you see something, uh, someone throws him um, Someone throws him a scroll. He opens it, reads it, and then suddenly you understand uh, the <gasps> words coming out of his mouth. <laughs> Finally, the magic cows, it worked. The soup, it worked. Aw, friend. <laughs> Wait. Finally. What? We're magic? What? Can, we talk, can you hear, understand us if we talk to him? Yeah. I say, hello. Or at least you assume so. Can you understand me? Of course I understand. You are my creations. You have <gasps> come. You have come to help me defeat the humans. <laughs> oh. yeah. Wait, so hold wow. on. I just got to hold on. <laughs> so the, is this, this is canon that the, the it wasn't them trying to get rid of the cows. They were trying to give the, the cows superpowers all <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's canon or not is going to be up to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh, this tall farmer thing walks out, and after reading a scroll that was tossed to it, uh, is, is suddenly comprehensible, and he says, "Ah, more of my creations have come. I've granted you power, the power to fight back against oppressors. Join me, join my allies. Together we will defeat humans." I say, "Are your allies all cows?" No, my allies. They they are experiments, not all as fine as you. I started with the greatest animal of all time, but it proved too stubborn. Had to chain it to the wall. And he points back into the barn, and you see that uh, in the far corner, there is something that looks like a goat chained up to the wall. <laughs> Ooh, is it a battering ram? <laughs> You're not sure. It just uh, It's chained to the wall, and it's looking at you very menacingly. How, oh, how do uh, cows feel about goats? Uh, I suppose it's up to the individual cow. Not good. You. Once again, I've done no research on actual cows. No idea. This, no, this is your world now. You decide. But yeah. you are individual cows. That's true. I, I know how every NPC feels about each other. I feel but... bad about goats. I don't like sheep. I only like cows. One <laughs> cows, all, all cows for one. It means only cows should exist. No other uh, animals. Uh, I think I agree with you on sheep. The sheep over mm-hmm. there, it just sleeps most of the day. Hey, hey, wake up, sheeple! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you can see that there's a large woolly creature asleep in the, another corner of the barn. I was going to say, I'm a, I'm a white cow uh, premises. Yeah, I was <laughs> I, I'm oh, giving uh, Marjorie like, a really wide-eyed stare. <laughs> I just think cow, what, cows are better than everybody else. That's all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying we're all thinking. <laughs> Back and slowly away. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, you were saying something about superpowers or? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I've granted you these abilities. Are you not tired of being subjugated by humans? Are you not tired of being told what to do, yeah. where to eat, of being slaughtered, of being... Uh, Milk. Wait, 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 wait. Slaughtered. Hold on. The slaughtered. What, what do you mean slaughtered? They they give us food and pets. They, yeah. They're yes. kind of cool. Yes. But why do you think they give you the pets? Why do you think they give you food? For good luck. <laughs> because good vibes. Because they think we're cool. <laughs> yeah, because they know like, we're cool. No, they will slaughter you. They will eat you. They will turn you into burger. Can I do a insight roll? See if he's telling the truth. Yes, you can. I got 12, no, 13. Uh, he doesn't appear to be lying. But he appears to believe what he's saying. I knew it. I knew they ate us. This is what I've heard all the rumors. Wait a second. You're, 
You're like blowing my mind here. Uh, this is this is even darker than my fan fiction. <laughs> uh, I, are you are you the ones that killed the other cows, or was that the farmers? Mm. Well, uh, farmers did kill many cows for food, and maybe the cow soup does not have great record. But you know what they say, to build army, sometimes you have to break a lot of cows before some of them survive and become magical. Hey. Wait. Not cool, man. Yeah, those are our friends. So you're just as bad as the humans. Yeah. But I do this to empower some of you. <laughs> some of us. <laughs> some of us. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe we need to have a sidebar. Could you give us a minute? <laughs> One minute. Okay. So we all huddle, like cow huddle, like in a circle, all of our heads <laughs> facing towards each other. <laughs> With all our butts facing toward the goblin guys. <laughs> yeah. What's your guy's read on this? Do you think he's a good person? No, okay, if the humans really are using us for food, then he just wants to use us for like whatever his purpose is. He's, he's yeah. no good either. No. Something about this guy just doesn't work for me. Yeah, I'm starting to think that you're, you're like... Your eating them plan is kind of okay. Yeah. But I'm not on board with your cow ethno state. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> well, that, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, that's, that's a matter of further discussion, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll show you some literature. <laughs> <laughs> Mine hoof. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, that might end up getting cut. Oh, <laughs> But it's hilarious. Well, maybe what we should do is just all turn and charge him. Let's not even give him a chance. What do you say? Maybe. So we don't like want to hear more about their plan first. Well, I, I have. Mm, I, I don't know. I have a question. I need to ask him. <gasps> okay. All right. We can wait. Yeah. So, uh, Davin Darkblade, he turns around to this uh, this farmer with the long arms, and, and does this does this farmer have hair all over him? Or, uh, let me double check before I can actually answer. I think so. What is he? He's like a yeti. Is it a bugbear. <laughs> you do not know what oh, he is. Of course, a hobgoblin or a bugbear. Oh, you know what? I think I may Typical. have been describing a different, uh, wrong kind of creature, but it's still this pretty guy good. Just hairy. It's an individual thing. I feel like he's a hobgoblin when I listen to the episode, but I, I uh, might yeah. not be the same guy. Yeah, so I so saw off character. He's definitely supposed to be a hobgoblin, and I did accidentally describe a bugbear. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> wow. It might, it might just be a really lanky hobgoblin. Yeah. yeah. His grandpa, his grandpappy was a bugbear. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. what he is. <laughs> he's yeah. one quarter bugbear. Yeah, on his yeah. mother's side. Yeah, they don't have that race on D&D Beyond yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he ate some cow soup. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, it, 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 yeah. it's it is You can you you, you actually create characters <laughs> now by creating four grandparents and then rolling for <laughs> the that actually be so cool. I would I, I would like do that. that. <laughs> I would actually make that. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, no, not particularly hairy. Yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to retcon his description as being uh, about the same height as a uh, as as a farmer as you know, but with dark uh, dark red skin. And his teeth definitely look different than the farmers, you know. His horns are in his mouth. Um, are his teeth like little knives? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, ask cows, you kind of know what farming implements look like. So yeah, they look like kind of like 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 knives or little, like little pitchfork things. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, he's got mouth horns. Ah. Mm. I say he looks like more like he'd eat meat than meat cow than the farmers with those little flat teeth. Yeah. I don't trust yeah. him. Yeah. Wait, your teeth are pretty flat. I think. Yeah, but I get it done, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little too well. But um, da Davin, <laughs> Davin will look, and he'll, he's going to try and make. He's going to, he's going to use his inaction surge when he does this, <laughs> and really like look this this guy dead in the eye, and he's going to say, "Did you kill my parents?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, if you're gonna use your inaction surge, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, he has to make a DC 15 wisdom save. So, oh, he just makes it. Oh, <laughs> but he's gonna answer. Uh, I don't know. Wh <laughs> what? Uh, I, we fed a lot of cow soup. 
I don't know. Did you kill? <laughs> Maybe. My parents. <laughs> <laughs> you talk very aggressively. I, I'm going to say no. Swear to me. <laughs> I can't. This is a PG-13 friendly podcast. <laughs> uh... Maybe I don't know. I fed lots of cow soup. All right, he's gonna he's gonna try and stab him. <gasps> uh, Davin's gonna try to stab uh, this guy, this farmer yeah, guy, with his uh, <laughs> with his horns. Uh, we're all gonna roll initiative. Uh, Lauren is gonna be surprised uh, by this. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Davin gets one surprise round. Yep. The rest of us are slack jawed in the back. <laughs> that is definitely true. We're like, uh, <laughs> Okay, what did everyone get for y'all's uh, initiatives? 16 for beef. 16 for beef. Uh, 16. I got 18 for margarine. 18 for margarine, okay. And I got a, I got a 16 as well. 16 for Devin. I imagine your dex is higher, so you beat me. Chout, what'd you get? It's an 11 for Chout. 11 for Chout. We got some bad guys. Yeah, I don't like the sound of this. I, I can see, we can see one farmer. We have spells. Yeah. We have like a decent. We got, we got two scrolls of fireball. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> We're going to take off my horn first, though. That's true. Can anyone use those scrolls, or is it only as long as you eat them? Yeah, I'm gonna say anyone can use the scrolls. Uh, as long as you eat it, as long as you eat it, you will be able to cast fireball. We also have an angry, chained-up magical goat. Oh. Mm. Ooh. That's an asset, not a liability. Yes. <laughs> well, I feel like that might be one of the people that's in the initiative order already. I think Davin and uh, Beef both got 16s for initiative, right? Yeah, so Davin would be ahead of me. Looking at my spells. If a cow inhales fire, is it particularly flammable? Is it just going to explode? <laughs> like if it tries well, to cast we'll fire find out. <laughs> I think only if it comes out the other end yeah fair enough <laughs> actually that might be where the fireball comes from Ben what's your dex bonus oh um two two okay I'm gonna eat everybody here once we kill them <laughs> mark my words there will be no bodies left on this day <laughs> stop eating people margarine <laughs> I wonder, was it just, like, was it the cow soup that made Marjorie yeah, like I this? I think that was, or was, it was she a side just effect. like this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, was, this might just be yeah. her. Yeah. I think that's why she was sent away from the other farm. Yeah. She was born with the bloodlust. <laughs> yeah, she, like, she ate a calf while she was a calf. Oh, gosh. She <laughs> ate her twin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she ate her twin <laughs> in the womb. <laughs> that was step yeah. one. She ate one, tw- uh, she ate one of the triplets in the womb and then the second triplet out of the womb. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, I like it when it was better done. Oh, gosh. <laughs> one time in the oven. <laughs> That's why we have the fireball scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, everyone is now ordered. Okay, so uh, let's see. Hey, Paul, so, how close are these? Uh, is this guy? So uh, let's see. You you will have walked up to him uh, after your huddle. The huddle. Uh, y'all can decide how far away from him you were, but he stepped out. Let's say about I don't know, like ten feet or so from the barn. Okay. Like he 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 took like couple of long steps. Gotcha. I think we gotta be a, a good at least 20 feet away to be out of earshot mm-hmm. for our huddle. Yeah, for respect. Okay. So yeah, so then, yeah, uh, so let's so let's say y'all are 20, uh, everyone is 20 feet away from him, except for Davin, who is gonna be somewhere in between that. You can kind of decide. Okay. Uh, you, you basically get to go ahead of everyone in initiative, mm-hmm. uh, and then he's gonna be about 10 feet from the barn, and then you uh, you know there's at least one other person inside the barn that's who tossed him the scroll of something. Uh, you also saw that there's like a goat thing and a sheep thing in there as well. Um, and you did not see anyone else in there yet. Uh, okay, so Davin, go ahead and uh, roll an attack on uh, on this th- on this farmer guy on Lorne. Okay, so can I roll a charge and go through him? It says if you move in a twenty foot straight line and successfully hit a target, <laughs> or do they have to be at the end of the twenty feet? I'll say that yeah, you'll be able to move through him. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna charge, and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I w- I kind of want to have the racing cow, so I'm I'm not gonna use the unstoppable <laughs> force, but um. I'm, so I'm gonna use a charge attack on him. Okay. All right. It's a. So what do I add anything, or is it just a flat roll? 
Um, it's, 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 it's an attack. Uh, you get to choose whether you, uh, when you charge, I'll say that you can either attack with the horns and then you can move past them, or you can charge and kick. Okay. But if you do the charge and kick, then you have to kind of like turn around and use your momentum to kick him. At that point, you wouldn't be able to move past him. So you either add a plus six for the kick or plus four for the horns. Okay, I'll, I'll do the horns. I got a 16 total. 16. So the tall farmer guy nimbly dodges your attack, yeah. so you don't hit him, but you do get uh, to move um, your full distance if you want as part of that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so I'll do... Uh, it'll just kind of run past him. Does he Does he flip a little cape or anything as I, I run by? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he absolutely does. Like, like, like at the last second, as a, as, a, as a matador, he kind of like whips it out, and you go right, right through gotcha. it. Yep, so I run right past him. and he says, ole, ole. Taro, Taro. <laughs> okay, uh, so you are basically, I think uh, he was right between you and the barn. Um, you are, let's see, if you're a racing cow, if you use all your movement speed, I think now you can basically be like in the barn entrance. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can do a quick perception check to see what you can see inside. Sure. Oh, nice. It's a 16. 16, okay. Ooh. With a 16, you can definitely see that uh, there are three other farmers inside. Uh, they are short and they are green like the grass. Ah. Uh-huh. That's strange. And you also, uh, once again, you see the sheep and the goat that uh, Lorne mentioned before. Okay. All right, so that is your turn. Next, um, so you are now in the doorway. So, um, oh, uh, by the way, the, bar- the way the barn is laid out, um, it's on the barn. Uh, the door is facing south. At the far end of the barn, there's kind of a hayloft area so that there's a bunch of hay stored up there. There's like a little ladder thing that a person could climb, but a cow unfortunately can't. And on the two sides of the barn, you see there's a bunch of old rusty farmer equipment stored. <laughs> uh oh. Things like um, things like scythes and sickles, and looks like 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 farming oh, attachment. That's that's Gavin Darkblades. <laughs> He's all about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It in the barn, of course, it's kind of dark. It all looks super rusty, and yet at the same time, super sharp. This is like Final Destination. Someone's gonna get impaled on those. Yeah, <laughs> actually, uh, do you remember? Uh, I don't know if y'all ever saw the, uh, the, the that movie Twister, uh, where they run into a bar mm-hmm. to hide from the Twister, and it's just covered in <laughs> the world's sharpest, deadliest instruments. Uh, it's yeah. basically that on two of the walls. It's my wife's favorite movie. Uh, so mm-hmm. that was the surprise room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, as you finish your charge, suddenly an, uh, you see an arrow come flying oh no. out at you. Uh, and does a 13 hit your AC? This is me? Yeah. Uh, let's see. My armor class is 13. So, yes. Ooh, it it hits it. You're going to take three damage. Okay. Uh-oh. As this arrow pierces uh, pierces your cowhide. Uh, next is Marjorie's turn. You just you just saw Davin take this charge and then get hit by an arrow. Okay. I'm going to cast uh, what would we call it? Methane missile on the big boy <laughs> right in front of me. So that's an auto hit, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, one d4 plus one. I get three darts, and so I'm going to roll three d4s. So each one are plus one, right? So three. I think so. Yeah. Three and three, so nine damage. Nine pew, damage. Pew, nice. Pew! Out of my butt. Okay, yeah. The, meth- the methane is good today, boys. Uh, you said nine it's damage? It's about your eating habits. Yes. <laughs> it's the blood. All that blood I ate. I only have two spell slots. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, as Lorne nimbly dodges uh, Davin's attack, uh, he's struck by your, three, uh, by your three methane missiles and doubles okay. over in pain. Yay. Does he look hurt? Uh, he's not happy about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to move or anything? Nope. Okay. I'm happy where I am. So, unfortunately for Davin, uh, from inside the barn comes flying yet another arrow. Uh, and this one comes from one of the short farmers who pulls out a bow. And I don't I don't think that an 11 hits you. No, it does not. It's my uh, my uncanny dodging. Nice. Mm. I don't uh, have that. So this, I don't, uh, I'm a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Un uh, uncounty dodging is that a thing? <laughs> see, and then uh, and then what? And then he is going to how uh, how do hide actions work? Uh, does he have to roll for stealth, or is he just kind of uh, with uh, w- w- the goblins like nimble escape thing? Roll stealth against our passive perception. Okay, uh, in that case, he is going to try and hide, and that's going to be 
uh, doesn't even 18 to hide, uh, which I think beats your passive perception. So you see him duck behind what looks like a table, and then you don't you you lose track of him. However, now it is your turn again, Devin. What do you do? All right. Uh, so I have expertise, which means I can roll with advantage when attempting to interact with human devices. And so he's gonna pick. <laughs> oh God. He's gonna pick up one of those scythes with his mouth, and, he, and <laughs> okay. he's gonna attempt to attack one of these little farmers. Okay, that is not what I what I envisioned y'all using that for, but that's awesome. Now I have to look up what how a scythe works. Yeah, okay, we're gonna treat it as a sickle. Oh man, that's all. No, we're gonna. We're, 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 that, that's all it does. You can just make it up, like give it like two d four or one d six or something. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, we're we're, we're gonna say uh, we're gonna say it does kind of the same thing as a scimitar. Uh, so you get a uh, you get plus four to attack. Nice. Um, actually, wait. Yeah, plus four to attack and one d six plus two damage. Is that actually better than what your stats are? Uh, so my horns are one d six plus three, and then my kick is one d four plus three for damage. Okay, I feel like I want to reward this. I want to. Uh, I'll I'll give you one d six plus four damage. Oh, great. Because otherwise, it's 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 an active downgrade. Oh, it's <laughs> uh, it's rusty, so you can give it like a tetanus effect. <laughs> there you go. Oh <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's yeah let's let's make it one d six plus two, and it'll uh, and uh, it'll, they have to save uh, versus a tetanus uh, <laughs> tetanus condition. Doesn't affect combat, but long term, he's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> over the next two years. <laughs> uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Uh, I have to roll uh, to see when he got his last uh, tetanus booster. Oh, it's been a while. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, he hasn't had this. He hasn't, he hasn't had one in eighteen years. He's he's screwed if he has. So you see, uh, there are two of the little goblin farmers in the barn with you that you can see, and there's one hidden one. Okay, I'll, I'll attack one of the ones I can see, and then can I use my expertise because I'm using a human device? Absolutely. All right, sweet. <laughs> All right. Nice. Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I guess I, I guess I guess the regular damage is fine then because you get that. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm really glad because it would have been a crit fail if I had not. So <laughs> it is. What it? I got a fourteen, and that's what did you say? It was a plus four to hit or plus six to hit? Uh, plus four. Okay, so it's eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, nice. Uh, you hit. Uh, you hit this guy. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. All right, and then you said it's one d six plus two. Yep. Oh, nice! I got a six. Nice. Ooh, okay. Ooh, good job. Okay. Yeah, you whack. You whack him with this uh, with a scythe, and he, you know he's not. He's not doing well. He's hurt. And then uh, does he? And then that's impressive. And roll for a uh, tetanus. Oh, that's right. He's got to roll a con save for tetanus. <laughs> uh, let me pull up a more detailed character sheet for him. Uh, Did you include his tetanus resistance on your character sheet? <gasps> oh God! <laughs> he rolled a natural one. Uh, oh Lord! Uh, he he, he immediately gets tetanus. Uh, he's, he's got lockjaw now. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write that down. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, with, with this advanced case of tetanus, uh, he is going to be unable to speak. So, uh, yeah. Look, however that affects awesome. this particular goblin, he can't speak anymore. Yeah. Give him the poison uh, condition oh, or something. Yeah, and he can't. Uh, he also can't use... Uh, if he has any health potions, he can't use them because he can't open his mouth. Ooh, that's good. You mean he can't he can't butt chug those potions? <laughs> they were fine. Oh, <laughs> well, it's gonna be an action to remove the pants first, yeah. and another action to yeah, exactly. You have to use a full action to remove his pants, and then you know get upside down, and uh, you know probably a dex check to make sure he doesn't spill over himself yeah. before he, he gets in there. Yeah. Need like another person to administer yeah. disadvantage yeah. if he yeah. didn't go to college. And... <laughs> he needs he needs a spotter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, do you want to do you want to take a move action? Uh, a move action? Uh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I will You get inspiration for that. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to move over to the uh, to the goat. I'm I'm think I'm going to try and release him next turn. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're over by the goat. Uh, okay, now it is Beef's turn. Beef, what do you All do? All right. So our big hobgoblin friend me is uh, is he like He's outside the barn, just at the entrance, right? He's about ten feet from the entrance. Uh, okay, so I was going to ask: Is he within ten feet of any rusty equipment? No, because he's outside. All the rusty equipment's inside. Uh, darn. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, uh, if you position yourself right, you might be able to knock him into some. 
That was the plan. Is there yeah. a hail, hay baler that you can be pushed into? <laughs> no. Uh, let's, uh, I will say that, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say that he's kind of like right in the middle. So, yeah, I, I'll say you, you can try and knock him into this stuff. All right. So I'm going to do my charge. Uh, 17. Oh, just misses. Uh, you, 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 go, you go right past him. Once again, he very deftly dodges and does his uh, matador uh, uh, flare. <laughs> All right, so I charge toward him. Uh, he, I skid past him. I slam my feet into the floorboards and skid just before uh, avoiding crashing into the uh, farming equipment. Turn around and paw at the ground again, getting ready for another charge. <laughs> nice. All right. Next, uh, we have uh, one of the other goblins inside, uh, which is who is not hidden. Uh, he is going to uh, he's going to notch an arrow into his bow from kind of inside the barn and he's going to take a pot shot at you because he just saw you uh, rush in so uh, that is a that's a 20 to hit oh. not natural oh. and he's going to hit you ooh, he's going to hit you for 6 alright that becomes 3 because I have resistance to piercing damage ooh. nice alright all right, hits you for three. Piercing, bludgeoning, and slash. Okay, this uh, this goblin farmer is also going to he's gonna he's gonna duck behind that he's gonna take the hide action to duck behind that same table. He got a what do the goblins have? Fourteen. Uh, I think all your passive perceptions. Yeah, no one's got high wisdom. Yeah, so he <laughs> now there are two goblins hidden somewhere in the barn. Uh, that chained up goat. He is unhappy. Uh, he looks like he's just unhappy with everything about everything all the time. <laughs> uh, he's going to try to break that chain. Uh, and that, how does that work? He needs to make... He does not. Uh, he Aww. he charges and pulls on the chain, but he's yanked back towards the wall. And that's where he stays. Shout, it is now your turn. Okay. Shout uh, yells, watch out! And <laughs> charges straight at uh, the tall farmer and misses completely. Oh, <laughs> no. Saw what Beef was doing, likes the idea, except suddenly uh, has some kind of thought that he can just go again and use an action surge. So he's going to try again. Mm. <laughs> Watch out! Again! <laughs> uh, and misses again. <laughs> <They're awesome>. No! <laughs> uh, so goes charging past and turns around again and then just looks really confused and depressed about life. Oh. <laughs> All right. It is now going to be Lauren's turn. And as he's deftly dodging everyone, he shouts, Why? Why you fight me? We fight humans together! Come on! Why you do this? And he is going to draw his longsword, and he is going to go after after Chow. Oop, that's not going to do it, I don't think. Uh, no, I'm, uh, does a 12 hit you? It does. Oh, it does. Dang. <sighs> yeah. Okay, he's going to hit you for... Uh, six slashing damage. Ow. Watch out! Oh no, that's me! Watch out! <laughs> Shucks. Uh, and then Lorne is going to... Um, he's going to back away towards the barn and get right into the entrance where he's kind of covered by the roof. Uh, and then after that, it is yet another... It's the third goblin's turn, who is, once again, uh, he's kind of standing in the barn. He's going to he's gonna notch an arrow and he's going to shoot. Let's see, right now it's just Davin and Beef in the barn still. So... Ooh... Do, do, do. That's going to be an 18 to hit. Uh, he's going to go for... Uh, he's going to go for Davin this time. Uh, doesn't 18 hit, I assume. Uh, I actually have a 20 oh, AC. <laughs> no. Wait, do you really? No, no, no I have that. Oh, that hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, forgot, I, forgot, I, forgot, I forgot how much stuff I gave you. Yeah, you really messed up on this sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. He's going to... Oh, he's going to hit you for seven. Oh, gosh. Oh my god. Right. Oh, how, uh, how are you doing there? I'm at two health right now. Ooh. Okay. Uh, the sheeple's turn, and this is gonna see, we're going to see if it wakes up. Oh, it wakes up. It hears, it hears everything. It wakes up. It's unhappy. It's unhappy about it. 
it's going to look around and it's going to pick a target. La -da 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 -da, and that is going to be beef. Oh no! We're on your side, man! <laughs> uh, give me a wisdom save, please. A wisdom save? Am I within five feet of an ally? Am I, ne am I next to Chout? Uh, I think Chout turned around and uh, uh, attacked both of Chout's again. again. Yeah. So I'm all by myself? If you're by the goat, I think you're by yourself. I'm not by the goat. I was uh, nearer to... I charged past the entrance. So I'm all... Then you might be next to Davin. Uh, Davin went to the goat. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Then, yeah, then I think yeah. you're by yourself. So I'm alone. I'm all by myself. No one is looking. Uh, I roll the three. Oh, uh, you fall asleep. Oh, no. It's sleepy time. I was going to uh -oh. do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beef is asleep. Back to top of the order, which is a, uh, a, a, rain, a goblin with a bone arrow somewhere. And he's going to take a pot shot at um, he's going to take a pot shot at Davin and he misses completely. <gasps> the arrow f goes flying Oof. out of the barn. Uh, and and yet, uh, those of you inside the barn actually see where he is. He was upstairs in the loft area, and then he ducks down. He he uh, ducks down behind the hay bales, uh, and he hides almost well, except for you can see one of his ears sticking up out behind the hay bale. <laughs> uh, and now, Marjorie, it is your turn. So I'm going to cast. Is there okay? So I'm going to cast Burning Hooves. And <laughs> is there a way for me to position myself where I get um, the big farmer and the little farmers that are downstairs, like a certain? angle because it is a 15 foot cone in um, a highly yeah. flammable dilapidated barn oh yeah <laughs> with bays or bales of hay I'm gonna say that um, you can definitely get the tall farmer guy um, you're not sure if you can get the goblins because last you saw they hid behind a table and you're not, mm. you don't know if they're there anymore but you can try okay Okay, so I'll, I'll get the farmer his priority, then I'll point towards where I think the goblins are. Okay. So he has to do a dexterity save. Okay. And my spell save DC is 13. Okay, let's on, see on. what we do. Oh boy, this is this is kind of bad news for a whole bunch of them. Uh, so two of them, uh, the, tall, the tall guy and uh, the, the tall guy fails for sure. Okay. Uh, D6, wow. Oh no, wow. he might die. I just got 12. I rolled three D6s. The well, third one is only two, but nice. pretty good. <laughs> a fail, they take half half damage. So the tall farmer, uh, definitely, you see his little cape. He was using a Mador cape, burst into flame, <laughs> as does a lot of the rest of his armor. He, uh, his hair is singed. He is looking terrible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's, he's very unhappy with life. Uh, you hear some other screams come out from behind the table, and the barn is now on fire. Yes. yes. You definitely catch part of the barn on fire. Okay. I'm in there. And as a... <laughs> Sorry. Asleep. As a bonus action, who's the most hurt right now? Who has I can, seven damage? I can tell you that is me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use a bonus action called First Moo, No Harm. Ah. And I lick Davin and I restore 1d6. So let's see how much. Please, Lord, give me a good roll. Six! Oh, awesome. oh nice! I healed nice. you for six. That's a six. Six, six, six. Well, hopefully not six, six, All six. Right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe for Marjorie. Yeah, yeah, maybe, thing. maybe that's appropriate. <laughs> the Dark Lord helps her, guides her ha her hoof. <laughs> okay, all right, very good. That was good. So now I'm sitting right next to um, Davin. In, okay. in the burning barn. Oh yeah, yep. in the burning barn. In the she it. charged into the burning barn to rescue <laughs> yeah. Davin. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a hero. She likes you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. uh, as romance ignites inside the barn, so does the actual <laughs> barn itself. Uh, so it's the, really the, hot. The, yeah, the, the, the table's on fire, part of the wall's on fire. So there's a fire in there now. Um, <laughs> what weird stuff are you into, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> no, literally not. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's on fire. Inspiration for you. <laughs> One of the goblins uh, who actually forgot to hide, he's going to uh, run to the back of the barn and he's gonna pull out uh, his longbow once again and he's going to attack who's the bigger threat right now probably probably the one who just cast uh, burning hooves so he's gonna take a shot I'm at out of spell slots <laughs> he does not know that and unfortunately he rolled in that 20 oh gosh wow oh my uh, God, with a longbow yeah. it's like probably taller double than damage. he is double Mike's damage Mike's gonna be so disappointed when the only TPK for Tales from a Glass Guarded World is in the uh, one shot <laughs> 
You should come back to me. So, look, you can tell me, you burned down a barn full of cows. I can't, I can't hear this. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Uh, hero max damage. <laughs> oh, Six, 16 damage. No, I'm down. I'm, I oh, no. almost just, I, I'm down, man. Uh, Davin. Oh, crap. Well, as she falls, Marjorie says, if I die, eat my core. <laughs> 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 Wow, Davin, it is your turn. As a bonus action, he'll he'll lick <laughs> uh, he'll lick margarine, and he'll say, "Oh gosh, you're so gross!" And then he'll <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he'll he'll give her a d6 of health back. Yay! So she gets four health back. Oh, thank you so much. And, and he tries he tries to avoid licking the parts that are covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's all covered in blood. <laughs> and then he uh, he's going to try to release his his goat friend, and he'll say, "It's time to do a barn raise," <laughs> and he'll um <laughs> and he'll try to release him. Okay, so to release him, uh, as a rogue, you do advantage on dealing with human stuff. So I need you. Yeah, can I use it like a, like the thieves' tools? The the little sickle. <laughs> you, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do have a scythe. I need you to give me first an intelligence check. All right. And you can do this with advantage because you are a rogue cow. <laughs> that is a 15 plus one, so a 16. Nice. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you understand. This is a chain. It is definitely holding this goat to this wall. Uh, and you understand, in principle, how to unhook it. So give me a sleight of hand check, again, with advantage. All right, cool. And thank you, Brandon, for acknowledging my pun. It was a, it's a very good yeah, pun. It's, Subtle. It's barn raise. Requires like R-A-Z. changing the spelling. You guys get it? No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even get it. That's so you smart. Know what, That's you know very I'll clever. Give, I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you inspiration for that one, Thank too. Thank you. Even though I didn't get double it. Inspiration? Double inspiration? Double inspiration. All right. Is that like a double rainbow? <laughs> double inspiration. A 12, a 12 plus, it's my dexterity, you said? Yeah. All right. It's a 15. Nice. Uh, you ju- you just get. It. I'm, I'm gonna say use a scythe to. Um, the chain is nailed to the wall, and use a scythe to kind of work the nail free, and it nice. pops out, and the goat is now free. Woohoo! Good job. It is free to move around the cabin. I hope it attacks me. <laughs> Beef, it is your turn. No, it's not. I'm asleep. Well, can I? I also can I use my movement oh. to try and head out out of the barn now? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Can I do an attack of opportunity? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you die in here with us. <laughs> just going to kneecap him, leave him leave him for dead. You know, the goat is going to take an attack of opportunity, though. It is going to try The one to... I just released? The goat? The one you just oh, released. Oh, man. Beast. It, is, it is not as smart as y'all, and it is not happy about anything. This is not, this is not a G-P-K. kind animal. GPK. GPK. <laughs> Will the cows survive their fight against Lorne the Hobgoblin and his minions? Will this be our first TPK? Will Margarine eat everyone that the cows kill? Tune in next week to find out. (laughs) My child has just burst into the room and needs needs a hug. But I'm going (laughs) to... Yes. Okay, Maybe. I'm going to need you to go, though, because we're recording, okay? One more hug, and then... <laughs> it looked like you're just drinking water. It's a, like a decapitated body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Zoom background kind of makes her disappear a little bit. <laughs> I see a cat. Oh, can we see the right cat? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to grab her. Yeah. It's a rule on Zoom calls. There's, the cat is mentioned. It has to be seen. Children and cats oh. must be seen. Oh, <laughs> so cute! It's, what, so, so placid. What, is it? What's what's the name? A uh, lemon. Lemon. Oh, <laughs> lemon. The, good name for a cat. Yeah, she's a she's a good cat. I'm like being held. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and she has a little poof at the end of her tail. Oh, I see that. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. Well, I shaved it. <laughs> my, my cats had fleas. It was on, it was a thing, and then they're resistant to the flea medicine, and so we had to like shave them. <laughs> they're like superhumans. 